we the maths teachers welcome you back to the e-learning program in the previous video we have revised multiplication of four digit and five digit numbers properties of multiplication and multiplication by 10 and its multiples in today's video let us revise division by one digit and two digit divisors division by 10 and its multiples and properties of division division when we form equal groups out of a certain number or share something equally among a given number of groups we divide let us understand the terms used in division operation divisor a number by which another number is to be divided dividend a number to be divided by another number quotient a result obtained by dividing one quantity by another remainder a part of something that is left over after division for example 24 divided by 2 here 2 is a divisor 24 is a dividend when we divide 24 by 2 we get a answer as 12 where 12 is a quotient and 0 is the remainder let us understand division by a one digit divisor with an example divide 6287 by 8 here 6287 is a dividend and 8 is a divisor step 1 arrange the numbers as shown step 2 write the multiplication table of a divisor here 8 is a divisor so we write the multiplication table of 8 Step 3 Divide the given number by 8 When we divide a number we take the digits of a dividend from extreme left Here we have 6 where 6 is less than 8 so we cannot divide 6 from 8 so we need to take two digits that is 62 Let us divide 62 by 8. First, check whether 62 is there in 8's table. We have 56 and 64. Since 62 is less than 64, we need to take 56. That is, 8 sevens are 56. Write seven in quotient's place. and write 56 below 62 and subtract we cannot subtract 6 from 2 need to borrow from the next digit that is 6 will become 5 and 2 will become 12 12 minus 6 is 6 5 minus 5 is 0 then we bring down the next digit that is 8 we get the new dividend 68 now let us divide 68 by 8 let us check whether 68 is there in 8's table we have 64 and 72 since 68 is less than 72 we take 64 that is 8 8s are 64 write 8 in quotient's place and write 64 below 68 and subtract 8 minus 4 is 4 6 minus 6 is 0 now let us bring down the digit 7 by getting 47 as a new dividend now let us divide 47 by 8 let us check whether 47 is there in 8's table we have 40 and 48 since 48 is greater than 47 we take 40 that is 85s are 40 write 5 in quotient's place and write 40 below 47 and subtract 
seven minus zero is seven, four minus four is zero. Therefore, the quotient obtained here is seven hundred eighty-five, and the remainder is seven. Let us understand the division by a two-digit divisor with an example. Divide seventy-four thousand five hundred sixty-five. By twenty-eight. Step one: Arrange the numbers as shown. Step two: Write the multiplication table of twenty-eight. When we write multiplication table of two-digit number which is greater than twenty, we split the numbers. Here, twenty-eight is a divisor. We split twenty-eight as twenty plus eight. And then write the tables of twenty and eight. Then we find the sum of that. Now let us begin the division. Here seven is less than twenty-eight, so we take two digits. That is seventy-four. Let us divide seventy-four by twenty-eight. Let us check whether seventy-four is there in twenty-eight table. We have. Fifty-six and eighty-four. Since eighty-four is greater than seventy-four, we take fifty-six. That is, twenty-eight twos are fifty-six. Write two in quotient's place and write fifty-six below seventy-four and subtract. Since we cannot subtract six from four, we need to borrow from the next digit. That is, seven will become six. And four will become fourteen. Fourteen minus six is eight. Six minus five is one. The, now let us bring down the digit five. We get the new dividend one hundred eighty-five. Let us divide one hundred eighty-five by twenty-eight. Let us check whether one hundred eighty-five is there in twenty-eight table. We have one hundred sixty-eight and one hundred ninety-six. Since one hundred ninety-six is greater than one hundred eighty-five, we take one hundred sixty-eight. That is, twenty-eight six are one hundred sixty-eight. Write six in quotient's place and write one hundred sixty-eight below one hundred eighty-five and subtract. We cannot subtract eight from five. We need to borrow from the next digit. Eight will become seven, and five will become fifteen. Fifteen minus eight is seven. Seven minus six is one. One minus one is zero. Now bring down the next digit, that is six. We get the new dividend one hundred seventy-six. Now let us divide one hundred seventy-six. By twenty-eight, let us check whether one hundred seventy-six is there in twenty-eight table. We have one hundred sixty-eight and one hundred ninety-six. Since one hundred ninety-six is greater than one hundred seventy-six, we take one hundred sixty-eight. That is, twenty-eight six are one hundred sixty-eight. Write six in quotient's place. And write one hundred sixty-eight below one seventy-six and subtract. We cannot subtract eight from six. We need to borrow from the next digit. Sixteen minus eight is eight. Six minus six is zero. One minus one is zero. Now bring down the next digit five. We get the new dividend eighty-five. Now let us divide eighty-five by twenty-eight. Let us check whether eighty-five is there in twenty-eight table. We have eighty-four and one hundred twelve. We cannot take one hundred twelve since it is greater than eighty-five. We consider eighty-four. That is, twenty-eight threes are eighty-four. Write three in quotient's place. And write eighty-four below eighty-five and subtract. Five minus four is one. Eight minus eight is zero. Therefore, 
the quotient obtained here is 2663 and the remainder is 1 verification of division we verify division using the formula dividend is equal to divisor multiply with quotient plus remainder here the divisor is 28 and the quotient is 2663 and the remainder is 1 when we multiply the divisor and the quotient we get the product as 74564 then we add the remainder to it we get the sum as 74565 which is equal to the dividend therefore the division answer is correct division by 10 and their multiples when the divisor is 10 the digit in the ones place is the remainder and the number formed by the other digits is the quotient for example 3572 divided by 10 Here, ten has one zero. Therefore, digit in ones place will become the remainder, and the number formed by the other digits is the quotient. That is, three hundred fifty-seven is the quotient, and two is the remainder. When the divisor is hundred, the digits in the tens and ones places form the remainder. The rest of the digits form the quotient. For example, eighty-nine thousand seven hundred twenty-nine divided by hundred. Here, twenty-nine is the remainder, and eight hundred and ninety-seven is the quotient. When the divisor is thousand, the digits in the hundreds, tens, and ones places form the remainder. The rest of the digits form the quotient. For example. Fourteen thousand six hundred thirty-two divided by thousand. Here, fourteen is the quotient. Six hundred and thirty-two is the remainder. Properties of division. Property one. If we divide a number by one, the quotient is the number itself. For example, two hundred forty-eight divided by one. Is equal to two hundred forty-eight. Property two. If we divide a number by itself, the quotient is one. For example, one hundred twenty-five divided by one hundred twenty-five, we get one as a quotient. Property three. If we divide zero by a number, the quotient is zero. For example, zero divided by one hundred twenty-eight is equal to zero. Remember, dividing a number by zero is meaningless. Dear children, kindly note: when we have to write the multiplication table of two-digit number which is more than twenty, we split the number and write the tables. For example. Thirty-two. We split thirty-two as thirty plus two. So write thirty table and then two table and then find the sum of it. You will get the table of thirty-two. In this video, we have revised division by one digit and two digit divisors, division by ten and their multiples, and properties of division. Dear children kindly practice math sums every day thank you have a nice day